Ooh, what's happening, YouTube? It's your boy, Sai. Check it back in with another prison story, man. What's good, baby? If you're new to my town, sit back, relax. I hope you love what you hear, man. Hold on, let's get it. La -da -da -da. It's Friday, everybody. Now, for real. So, boom, I got a prison story got coming for everybody, man. Straight out the unit. So, boom, I was going through some old paperwork, getting rid of some shit, and I found this, man. An old case from prison. I'm going to tell you about this day. This shit right here, believe it or not, will stop you from going home. And something as simple as not having your T-shirt on. But I'm going to go into the story, show you how one man or a few guys can affect everybody. And shit, just like that. You not going home. Now you mad the motherfucker. You want to beat somebody up, the whole story. But anyway, sit back, relax, man. If you're new to my channel, all I ask, man, is that you join the conversation. Leave us a comment down below. Hit that like button, you know, or subscribe for future videos, man. I share past experiences from prison, you know. Um, I'm out doing good now, but I try to stop somebody from going down that road. But if you have to, you know, go down that road because you got in a little trouble, do you go down there and get your time out the way, man. That's the main goal of prison or jail is to do your punishment and come back home. A lot of guys forget the main focus of prison or jail. <laughs> they get stuck. They forget. They get a, the goal is to leave. They get to go home. Except for the guys that, you know, ain't going home, man. You know, bless their heart. Some of them, some of them. Hey, motherfucker, you need to be right where you need. You did what? <laughs> no, nah, but hey, my name Bennett. I ain't in it, man. You know, to each his own. I am not the ultimate judge. You know, everybody got to answer one day for their sins, just like I have to. But uh, let's get into the story today, man. I got some real deal, live feel, holy cases, man. So check this out, y'all. All right, man. In the penitentiary, most of the COs or the correctional officers know that you, you know, doing time and they kind of stay out your way. They don't fuck with you for no reason. Then you got the ones that will fuck with you for, for no reason, give you a hard time. So boom, this particular day, man, I'm a good inmate. Like I said, I'm doing my thing. I'm going to vocational uh, to be an electrician. I'm learning how to get my apprentice license to be, you know, make myself, make something good out of myself when I get back into society. You know, I came into prison. Um, I didn't really have a trade. You know, I had a GED. And stuff like that but i you know had a couple of jobs in the past but not too many you feel me but i want an actual you know career of course so i'm learning my vocation down here i'm i'm trying to i'm remembering to go to go home this is at the beginning of my sentence so boom i'm going to school i'm almost at the end y'all i get a major motherfucking case a major case will stop you from going home for not putting on my t-shirt for not a, a t-shirt but hold on we do this every single day and it's a bunch of other guys i ain't snitching or nothing but damn, nigga, it's 15 other people in this motherfucker with shirts off, and you looking at me, <laughs> little old son, you must, you must think I'm a hoe. <laughs> nah, man, for real, don't you hate that? Like, damn, you, on, nah, I'm gonna give you a perfect example. Some shit happening on the freeway, you know, everybody taking the side, you know, going over the white line or whatever to get past this. They know they're not supposed to be doing it. Everybody doing it illegal. Well, the cop come get you. Out of all the motherfuckers, he come get you. He's like, damn, Gina. <laughs> you, why you fucking with little old me? You must think I'm a hoe or something, motherfucker. You picked the wrong. Nah. You know, I don't know. Whatever the case might be. <laughs> Whatever it might be. But why pick me out of all people? So, boom. Like I said, all right, this is a story, y'all. All right, I do this every single week. Boom. Me and my little homeboy, he out now, you know, too. We used to work out every single day after we get out of vocational class. We'll go down to vocational. We'll come back, either take a nap and get up and work out, or we'll work out as soon as we come back. So this day, we take a nap. We get up. We're about to work out. Everybody work out around 6, 30, 7 o'clock at nighttime. We're on the unit that I'm at. So this is then everybody hit the shower or whatever. They do lockdown 1030. So it's fresh Friday, you know. So everybody... Working out, it's fight night Friday. So Fridays, you're allowed to stay up till one o'clock. This is considered the weekend. You're allowed to stay up till one o'clock. So people, everybody working out. We got lot Mexican, you got Hispanics over here, you got blacks over here, you got Caucasians over here, all working out, man. Everybody doing their own thing. We got our shirts off. We do this every day. I don't know why, but it's, you know, fight night Friday or fresh Friday, whatever they call it, man. But some guys want to start slap boxing, man. It's always like that amongst a couple people in prison. So once this person gets a slap boxing, you got a little thing going on. You got this black person versus this Hispanic person. Slap boxing. And slap boxing always turn to trouble. Long story short, I'm still working out. Me and my boy, we doing our thing, man. Lady coming in there because they get the slap boxing. The guard coming in there. 
Don't say nothing to us. We doing our thing. Don't say nothing to us. We're in our corner working out, you know, reading the Bible, watching the news. We do, we're the good inmates, man. We do it our, we in our own corner. We're not part of the, the, the ignorance. The fools over here slap boxing, deciding, you know, they want to turn Friday into a, 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 a Mayweather match and shit. You know, they over there, you know, they, I, I done had my fun indulged and, you know, nice, but not Right now, this is early on in my sentence. You know, I ain't with the bullshit yet. You know, maybe later on in the sentence. But back to what I was saying, we doing our own thing working out, man. Lady coming there, fucking going off. She, ah, she talking to all them that's over there with the bullshit. You got, of course, you got other guys that's watching too. So she yelling at them too. So long story short, she get all them corrected. And she tell all of them put all their shirt. Now they ain't can't work out. They can't do nothing. They gotta sit down and and watch TV like some good little boys, inmates or whatever, you know. But on her way out, we, me and my boy, we still doing our thing. She don't say nothing to us. She walk out. Yeah, so I'm all sweating. I'm feeling myself, man. Two, three minutes. I know she finna come back in there. How you doing? So boom, we see the sergeant come in with like three, four laws. Boom, so we like, oh shit, we finna grab, you know, we supposed to have our shirt on, so we looking for our shirt to put on and shit. I'm like, damn, they finna go get them niggas, but nigga, they looking at us and they come in our direction. And I'm like, what the fuck? They coming in our direction and she come in right behind them, man. Check this bullshit out, y'all. And boom, look, they handcuffed us. They handcuffed me and my homeboy, man. They handcuffed us and she wrote us up. They took, a, took us to jail. Violated a posted TDC rule, offender to be properly dressed while in the day room. You see that shit at the bottom? Read at the bottom. We were supposed to be dressed while in the day room. So them motherfuckers came, locked us up, man. I'm talking about, we thinking she feeling us. She ain't said not one word. Dirty. Dirty. Not one word to us, man. Come in there. We like, damn, why y'all locking us up? Blah, 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 blah. And the sergeant like, because she told y'all to put the clothes, your shirts on, y'all didn't, y'all didn't put y'all, y'all didn't comply. So 20 inmates have to be saying this before they can motherfucking go against y'all word, your word versus the guards, man. So boom, we go tell everybody like, no, she didn't. So that's the only how we didn't get locked up. Locked up is mean you finna locked up and you finna get it. Go to jail. You might get G5. You might go to medium custody. Anything. We still got the case, as you see. That's history. I still got the case. I still got rolled up for the shit, but it just didn't get locked up. Locked up mean you're going to get, probably have to see UCC. This is Texas Prison Board. Behind not having a shirt on. And the lady didn't say nothing to us. I'm just giving you a prime example how penitentiary works, man. The last place you want to be, man. Last place you want to be is trash. I tell you, man, I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. So <clears throat> anybody out there, it ain't worth it, man. Whatever the fuck you finna do, it ain't worth it. If you ain't talking millions, and, and, and tell you the truth, people that's like embezzling the millions, they not getting life sentences and shit. They getting like 20 years type shit, the people that's stealing the millions. If you're going to commit a crime, shit, at least you ain't throwing your life away. You better do some embezzlement or some shit. But murder, robbery, breaking in people's houses, all that shit is dangerous. And it's just crazy, you know. But back to what I was saying, y'all. Yeah, man. So I'm like, damn. She tried to fry us. Me and him, me and my boy, we, we mad the whole night. I'm contemplating if I want to put grease in front of my cell and throw some water out there. And just as soon as she walked past, she just, 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 just slip and fall. Bust her head. <laughs> no, no, for real. Don't you on you almost stop me from going home? And I'm, a, I'm supposed to be a role. And I'm a good inmate at the time, man. I ain't getting no trouble. I just want to do my time, do my homework and my schoolwork, and do what the judge told me and go home, man. And you come trying to get me a major, try to get me locked up behind not having a shirt on, man. But that's some of the stuff that will get you or stop you from going home in the penitentiary. You're like, what? Just imagine calling home. Yeah, mama. I ain't going home. They stopped me from parole because I had my shirt off. <laughs> she like, nigga, what? <laughs> you had your t-shirt off, your shirt off. <laughs> what type of shit you got going? She gonna think you trying was trying to do some freaky shit. She ain't gonna know it. It was just like I was at the rec yard. I was playing basketball. I had my shirt off. She gonna be like, nah, something else. You my son. It's something you ain't telling me. <laughs> I'm like, no, seriously. I had my shirt off working out. <laughs> That, but it's fucked up, you know what I'm saying? But, hey, that's just the penitentiary, man. I hope I made y'all laugh today, man.
the moral to that story is you have to obey every single rule because any rule can get you screwed out of parole and stop you from going home. But the bigger picture is don't go because it's a system. Once you get stuck in that system, that trap, it's hard to get up, get out straight up, man. That's it and that's all, man. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe. You know, it, all I ask y'all, please, man, on your way out, hit that like button or leave us a comment down below. Until next time, man, much love, much respect. It's your boy Sot, si signing off.